What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, we're going to do a mod review. Um, we're doing a mod that my clan, uh, STG, they've been playing with for a hot minute on Arma 3. Uh, this is a mod called Continent in Arms All-in-One, coming at you from Anthrax on the Steam Workshop. I've mentioned this guy a couple times in the videos past, but uh, I wanted to go ahead and do it a favor and actually give it a proper review and go through. And I think you'll like what I have to say. This might have some good stuff for your clan that you're playing with in Arma. Uh, it might just have some stuff you like playing with in general. If you like switching things up and not doing the norm, not doing just, you know, rangers and seals and all that stuff every day, this is a really, really good opportunity to change it up in your group. Maybe just add some crazy fiction. And you can actually even go to Anthrax's Discord. Uh, I might link it below if I can remember to do that. We'll see. But uh, you can find a lot of good lore, a lot of good stuff. I even got a map uh, off of his Discord. And uh, we use that to do some pretty big briefings for this month that we've been doing a whole campaign using this mod pack playing as the guy in front of me. Uh, people from the Kingdom of Messir, which you will learn a little bit about. But what I like about the mod is you'll see Anthrax took a, uh, maybe with some mod help, I don't know if it was just him, but for the most part Anthrax uh, took a lot of different assets from Arma across, I think it was Cup, um, mostly Cup and Vanilla from what I saw, uh, and just like put a whole bunch of different camo patterns, like a different uh, logos, different stuff. Um, didn't change that much functionality out of stuff, but added a shitload of new lore and just headcanon you guys can play with in your units, which is awesome to see that kind of stuff because we hate playing 2035 and we hate playing as Rangers every fucking day. So let's go ahead and get out of this little stupid animation real quick. Uh, I'm just going to go down the line and we're going to look at some of this stuff and just mention I'm actually going to do that in Zeus camera because we're not going to walk for two hours. Um, over here, I believe we have first up in the blue four. Uh, we're just going to go through every one of the factions, blue four and independent forces. Uh, we're going to skip op four just because I don't want all these guys to fucking shoot each other, but they look good. I'll tell you that right now. Um, so the Bystrian State Army. All right, we've got a bunch of different cool assets. Like we got this APC with the VAD system on it. Nobody uses that. But now we actually can. Uh, we're using some of the tanks DLC stuff. Other APCs, I think those are M11 somethings. Forgot the name of them. Hiluxes, stuff like that. Uh, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe in the lore, uh, this nation is like kind of a lower tier compared to the other ones. So they're using, obviously you see these fucking armored cars and stuff which is kind of hard to see, imagine a full-on army using, but it's kind of cool. Uh, they got these DC-3 planes, very awesome, very cool to go with. And then we have these, uh, this plane, I forgot the name of it. It's a plane. It's very cool. Stuff that is usually underused if we play as certain nations in Cup. Uh, we got these vanilla wildcats, forgot what they're called. And this is some of the uniforms that the guys are wearing. Um, I noticed one of the uniforms was using like a... Um, I don't think it was Laws of War, but one of the most recent DLCs, this civilian backpack he retextured, which I really like. They were actually using that kind of stuff. Now, it's you can't really pick it up if you don't want that pop-up that Arma is very notoriously known for going on your screen, but still, these guys' kits look legit, and I really like it. So, new Blue 4, new Op 4, all that good stuff. They're messing with this tank. I believe this is supposed to be a Leopard from uh, Germany, and obviously in this lore, it's from Bastrusia. And then we got... This little thing, again, from Tanks DLC with the slat stuff. Very, very cool. Uh, moving on, we got my favorite nation that we've been playing as for the past month. I really like them a lot. Uh, it is the Kingdom of Messir, which is supposed to have some French, maybe British influence from what I've seen. They're pretty powerful. They're in the center of the continent. And uh, they have a very decent mix of a lot of different stuff. Um, so we've got a fucking BTR with a cannon on top. Uh, we've got, I believe this is also a, this is a Bundeswehr German in real life, or wait, no, this is a Czech Republic vehicle we got here. It's the Dingo. Um, we never use it until we got to this, which is really cool. So now we actually use this vehicle, which I really like. It's very cool. Also, if you notice, they've got some of these little crests on the side, which is supposed to be like the symbol for this nation, which is very, very fucking cool. Um, we got the Hemets. We have one of my favorite, favorite, favorite helicopters in this game now that we've been using it. I'm double check the name so I don't screw it up. Is the H-21 Hornet. I think in real life it might be called a little something different. I think it's a Russian thing. or It's CSAT from Vanilla, I want to say. You have to excuse me. There's a lot of names for a lot of shit. But, man, I'm telling you, this thing is a fucking beast when you got somebody flying overhead with it. Uh, and then they got Black Hawks for this nation, which is really cool. And then we got a bunch of different infantry. One thing Anthrax did is he went through 
either by himself or with a mod team and really paid attention to detail with the different types of weaponry and kind of just working on a believable country and a believable kit for a lot of these guys. They're very modern, very cool. Also gives us an excuse to use the uh, the foul, which, God, I love the foul. It fucking, oh, it hits just right. Uh, we also got some of the contact DLC backpacks, which is good to see. A uh, good mixture of your light recon, special forces type dudes. Uh, these guys are using M416s. Uh, I believe these guys might just be some recon elements. Very cool to see these cup vests used because I haven't seen some of that stuff since like Arma 2. So that's really awesome. We got some of these recon guys still once again using that foul OSW. Using Gorkas, which you never get to see a lot. Uh, if you play as American units a lot primarily. These really cool berets. I don't know if that's a decorative thing or if that's supposed to blend in. But whatever whatever rocks with you. Um, so we've got, I believe this is a fighter. I think it's the Gripen. I want to say it is the Griff, they call it. Yes, the Griff. Uh, all these planes, they're from Cup. So obviously, Anthrax didn't make all these like assets, but he like retextured them and stuff and, and made them work really well in this lore, which is really, really cool. So they're all functional from Cup. And if you guys don't know what Cup is, community upgrade project, I highly recommend you Google it, check it out. Uh, Tanks DLC, fucking, actually, you know what? I don't know. Either way, it's the Rhino MGS thingamajig that we got. Oh, I didn't even notice we got a. Uh, the writing on the side. That's good attention to detail. I kind of like that. I have no idea. The Democratic Manifest. Demo, Ma Democratic Manifest, whatever that's called. Very cool. Uh, next up, we have the Nation of Nagansk, I believe. Uh, you'll know it's them because they have the super fucking green camo. Uh, very glad they added this Tunguska. So if you ever play as them, you always want to use this thing. It is a fucking monster uh, for any plane to have to deal with. You, all, you see all that armament. It's terrifying. Uh, we have a... I want to say BMD. I want to say it's a BMD, not a BTR, because BTR's got wheels. Uh, so we got this BMD right here. This one's a command variant. Or no, sorry, it's a medical variant. Uh, we got this basically super futuristic BM-21. forgot what it's called, but very fucking cool. Uh, a very good touch on the vanilla Caratel. I just, we've never used it in my clan until we downloaded this mod pack. And uh, we actually have an excuse to ride around these things. And I don't know if you guys ever played around with it in vanilla, but they are fucking badass and you can go off road and yee fucking mudslide wherever you want they are awesome to play around with if you never like playing the csat you can do this stuff now um obviously i got the ka52 black shark absolutely terrifying uh mi8s pretty average transport uh these guys have access to c-130 juliets i believe which are pretty cool pretty big fan of those and then your standard harrier for some reason the civilian plane like that it has the Touch on the wing, big fan of that. And we got a, I want to say it's a T90 variant. I mean, they're going to call this the T72. Damn, I am off on tanks. Listen, I'm an infantry guy. I don't do tanks. Um, and then, yeah, this is some of their infantry we got here. Very cool retextured uh, AKs. Uh, big fan of having the flag on the gun. That's real patriotic and shit. Good attachments, good use of those. Good use of the camo. Big fan. Also, great use of the contact DLC vests. Big fan of those, and I'm glad that we're actually seeing that used on other people aside from LDF because, God, they are just boring. Um, I believe that's a Panzerfaust something, German. Um, but, yeah, they have a lot of different variants of those AKs that are very, very cool. And all their equipment is similar to Masir, being that they all use the ACHs in similar uniforms. But honestly, I'm not making any complaints. They don't got to have completely different uniforms to make it cool. Uh, I got this little short barrel AK, very, very cool. And then I believe this is a cup vest, which was originally from Spec 4 gear, which I'm glad people are starting to kind of conglomerate with their mods because you can get really cool shit like this. Um, they've even got this guy over here pretty heavy with that vanilla scope on there. So I highly recommend you guys check those factions out at least. If you only download the mod to check out like one or two, those are the three, the Bystricia State people, uh, Messier, and the Gods, because those are like my three favorite ones out of this, and they are just fucking awesome. Very good attention to detail so far. And I'm going to go ahead and check out the independent forces. Um, the Hoppin Siri Kingdom is going to come up, and some of you guys might like them because people argue they're kind of like Swedish Nordic fucking forces, but if they were like super powered, I don't know, but I, I'm a big fan of them. They're real nationalists, like all their flags. Uh, so we got, I believe this is, um, I'll double check, the Bastrusian Armistice forces. There's something there in the lore. I don't want to butcher it, but. You got the Basturian state forces, armistice forces, yada, yada, yada. Apparently everything in uh, Basturia is terrible. Um, feel sorry for them. These guys, very uh, 1980s U.S. vibes they're giving off with these like straight OD green uniforms. I don't know uh, 
what the purpose of that is, but it seems like they might be a little bit cheaper military because I see they're using these really cheap fucking uh, M16A1s. And these, whatever that is, it's wood, and it looks kind of cool. But it's M16. It's very, very cool. Uh, they've got these BTR40s, these MB, whatever the fuck, and then these regular cars. So if you're looking for like a kind of insurgent force that's not super poor, uh, go to these guys. But I don't know. It's This mod just lets you have a lot of mission creation, a lot of freedom, and I really, really like that because not a lot of mods give you a lot of freedom because if you're trying to do like U.S. military stuff, you really, if you want to make it realistic, you got to follow some SOPs and people got to read that shit and it's not fun. Especially when you're like 15 just getting into this game and you want to Zeus and people are like, oh, fuck you. You don't know how a complex battalion level air assault works. Well, here you go. You can kind of just make it up on the fly, which I like that. Uh, next up, double check in. We have the Hefford Siri Royal Army. If I'm but Wrath and Siri, I believe I'm butchering that name, but very, very cool. Very good uh, US influence in there. Um, obviously, you got the Bradleys. Uh, you got these LAVs. Like this little command variant one. I don't know if um, Cup has this one, but it's basically a command variant one without the turret, which I think is kind of cool. Just like a little transport variant. It reminds me of the original concept for the Bradley, which was not even supposed to have the turret on top, which, yeah, look that one up. Pentagon Wars, great movie. Um, transport vehicles, I believe, real life. These are, oh, God, I'm going to butcher it. I forget. There's something Russian. That's, I know they're that. Um, they are Russian and they take people around and they have cannons on them occasionally and dishkas and all that good stuff. And then we got the vanilla typhoon, I believe. Very, very cool to have this, um, extra stuff in the back with, uh, the cargo boxes. I don't know if that's a vanilla asset, but if it's not fucking cheers to you for adding actual cool stuff in the back of it, that looks like they're actually transporting stuff. Very, very cool. Um, got an AH-64. Wait, 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 wait. AH-64. Double check in. Well, they call it an Engelfer or whatever the fuck that is. I'll double check. It's an Apache, obviously. I don't want to screw this one up. I'm going to get fucking reamed if I screw that one up. Let me see here. It's a H-64. Yep, there we go. Just making sure. Listen, once again, I'm not a pilot guy. I'm a fucking infantry guy. Um, and then moving on, we got the, I believe, origins of this one are vanilla AAF. But we transported it to this mod pack and made a very cool thing out of it. I really like that. I think it's like a Merlin or something. Or... I want to say it's Merlin. Anyway, these are some of their infantry. Pretty uh, cool dudes because you got their recon guys. They're using this Russian stuff. They're using the Russian vest. Kind of reminds me of the Alice stuff. The Alice webbing from the U.S. military from a long time ago. Uh, they're still using these weird wood M16s. A lot of people didn't like that. Honestly, I kind of like it. It's a fresh taste on an old classic. And uh, I just like the... Uh, I don't know. I like the vibe of the M16. So, very good job on adding the custom camouflages different uniforms these guys have more advanced helmets so maybe there's a reason to think that they're a little bit more advanced in the lore because if you're looking there and they've got some pretty fucking high-tech op scores and shit going on and these ngsw looking guns these lmgs are legit uh moving on there's that cool ass flag once again it kind of reminds me of like the nordic countries for some reason they've all got their own little sops with their gear and stuff but they all look very very fucking cool um, still once again, loving that they're adding the contact DLC stuff because I hate regular contact DLC equipment and seeing it on another mod with just a couple different textures makes it all the better. And I love that. Um, but moving on enough about these guys, um, pretty cool planes, uh, vanilla, I believe. And then one from cup, I believe very, very cool that they're using different stuff. And they also have an Abrams, which if you're a tank guy, uh, well, here's your nation that you want to use Abrams in. I don't know. I like T-72s, T-90s. Abrams are all right. Uh, next up, and I believe last up, we have the Vespasian Federal Army. Uh, they also have a Marine Corps, but all I could find out was they just have a different texture. It's more like deserty, uh, beachy, you could say, because the Marine Corps. No crayons included. Um, obviously, they got their AA here. You can see they got these LAV-25s. Fucking whatever this thing is. This might be a British thing from Cup. I have never. It's very smooth. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, we got these uh, MLRS launchers, regular mod deuces or whatever. And then we got the RG something, something, something MRAPs. Pretty average. I think uh, if you're going for your just, uh, I don't know, kind of small American influence or international influence from like Germany, America, fusing them together, you could probably run with this. I like it. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go with the vehicles real quick. Um, terrifying helicopter to deal with i forgot the actual name of it but it's like the next level up from a hind uh absolutely terrifying i want to say it's a crocodile 
I know this type of drug in Russia. <laughs> anyway, very, very terrifying. They got the little bird armed. They're actually using the Tarus from uh, Vanilla, which once again, I keep saying it over and over again, but I'm very happy that we're actually getting to see this stuff and it's not just in the hands of CSAT now that we can just create whatever fictional thing we want. You can actually use this stuff with the drop pods and all that stuff because God knows no one wants to play a CSAT anymore. Uh, we've been doing it for a fucking hot minute since, what, 2014? So it's good to see some refreshing, cool vanilla stuff on a new uh, camo pattern. And also you got the uh, T something, something, something tank. I'm not going to try to guess this one. Uh, but if you want to look at their infantry, I'll start from left to right. Spawned a bunch of different types of dudes. They got a very cool flag. Kind of reminds me of uh, Japan, oddly. Now, wearing morale patches with camo or with no camo on them, like red and white uh, in the field, probably a bad idea. If I can only critique one thing in progress, I would just say, hey, maybe try Anthrax if you're watching. Thank you for making this mod, by the way. But if you're watching, maybe try to make a camo version or a version that's subdued for these flags. Because, uh, yeah, I'm popping this dude in the head away from like 200 meters in a swamp with that color. But anyway, you see the inspiration for these kits? Kind of Germanic weaponry. I mean, in our world, the G36 is a German weapon um, or Belgian. Um, but, you know, these guys are using it. Which, it's cool because you can just use whatever works. You, know, you could argue it. Uh, these guys are kind of, I think it's a helicopter crewman or something like that. Now, hey, we do have a subdued one, though. We do have a subdued flag right here. So this is the kind of stuff I was talking about just now, saying I would actually like to see that kind of stuff in the future. So, yeah, fucking, that's the first time I've seen that here. Um, I see they're using Marine Corps SPCs from Cup, uh, which I have no complaints about. Um, if you could ever change anything small, maybe change the logo they're not Marines or whatever, but honestly, it's it's kind of like a strange real thing. I mean, whatever the fuck you want it to. Uh, once again, you got these dudes here. Grenadier, unarmed guy. These all pretty much look pretty similar. G36s are their main weapon. M9s. This is an officer non-combat role right there. Got a helicopter pilot. I see a G3. Okay, I like that. Uh, I think these guys might have been the conscripts that I spawned. Uh, obviously, conscripts not going to have the best equipment, but... I would argue a G3 is pretty badass. And then we have their special forces, which are these guys here with those little colored flags on the helmets. Yada, 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 same old, same old. Uh, also, they have C-130 Juliets as well. And they have, I have never seen this. This might have grabbed your eye earlier. It's a, uh, I, well, vanilla, this would have been a black wasp, but I don't know what it's called for there. But they have a parade version of the black wasp, which has this little custom camo pattern, well, not camo pattern, but paint job. And uh, honestly, looks pretty badass. So, I mean, if you're trying to make machinimas, content creation, something like that, I mean, maybe this would be something for you. Or if you just want to be badass in the sky and not have to worry about anything, uh, maybe this is the plane for you. I think it's really cool. And I love this kind of extra touch stuff that adds to the lore, adds to the fun. And uh, I don't know, just just tells a story without having to really say anything. But going back over here to me, uh, at this point, ooh, my guy look old. Oh, God, is that camo? Jesus Christ, that guy rolled around in the mud for a little bit. Oh, there we go. Damn, gotta love armor. Textures look great. Uh, but that is overall what this mod does. Uh, it just adds... I mean, let me do this cool little relax pose again. Let me go back in here. Fucking just doing a little one-off, one-take over here. So no fancy stuff, no fancy editing today. All right, but... So that's what this mod does. It takes a bunch of assets from either vanilla, cup, you name it, and then puts new textures on them, and tells a story with it. Uh, I mean, you got to respect what the guy's doing with this because he's building an entirely new kind of like Ace Combat, Strange Real world with this mod pack. And dude, like I've been playing Arma for four years, and we've been playing Rangers, Seals, Airborne Army, whatever, Russian. And, you know, sometimes it either gets old or you get tired of having to try to follow the realism stuff in that. You know, and they have like you know, total conversion mods like Optray and Unsung and stuff like that. But if you still want that modern feel where it's not too crazy to believe in and you want to justify having an all-out fucking war between two countries, I mean, the sky's the limit with this kind of stuff. And this is one of those mods I'm, I will say that uh, at least, I would say at least every clan needs to at least try it for a couple weeks. And you can have a lot of fun with this. And I know Zeus is, I've been Zeusing for a long time in Arma. Um, you have a lot of fun just creating your own little lore. Like I said, we've been doing a campaign for the past month. The finale is going to be on Saturday. Try to record that, maybe upload that one. It's going to be like four hours, so give me a minute. But, you know, we're, we're playing it, and we're just making up stuff as we go as mission creators. I got a whole team together, and 
we got you know uh Masir is invading Caesarea. They're in like this big war. We're doing this airborne invasion. We got this whole operation order written up. It's like seven pages, like all this stuff we're doing. And it's like, man, we couldn't have done any of that stuff with like real life fictional stuff, unless you're getting like real detailed or somebody that's, you know, active duty is going to be like, what the fuck is this? (laughs) They don't actually do that. But with here, it's like, well, you know what? Eh, Maybe we say they do. Fuck you. You know, I, I kind of like that stuff. So it's it's refreshing. It's fun. And honestly, I got to give this one. I think it, for the, it's been a while since I did a mod review. Uh, I think I was doing a five-point system. But if, if I was doing a five-point system, this would still be a 10 out of five. Because this is a fucking awesome mod. And I think everybody needs to check it out at least one time. Because it adds a bunch of new stuff to think about. And gives you a lot of room for a sandbox. Which, Arma 3 is a military sandbox. That's what you're supposed to do. It's not supposed to be locking yourself in a cage and doing one thing for however long you run a clan. It's my biggest pet peeve. And, yeah. I've been ranting on for a long time about this. But I've been playing on this mod for a long time. And I think everybody needs to check it out. And once again, Anthrax, if you're watching, if anybody in your mod team is watching, shout out to you. You pretty much reinvigorated my love for Arma 3, the game. And also having all that extra information, all the lore from that discord is it's doing a lot because it's bringing a lot of people uh i think into the game that haven't played it before and i think more people need to do it so and either way i mean hey you guys check it out if you want to but once again it's got a 10 out of 5 for me and uh yeah but i'll put the link in the description if you stuck out for the whole video and listen to me rabble on about fucking t90 slash t72s or whatever uh feel free to give me a like comment subscribe And uh, yeah, feel free to check out the mod in the description. So I will see you guys in the next episode.